Hello world. So as I mentioned in the previous basic autonomous robot video, I wanted to show the code on what actually runs that. So here we have the virtual world. They call this the playground. So this is your grid pattern that you can run your virtual robot in. Then here I have on the left hand side is some basic code that makes this robot run around the same way that we saw in the previous video. So it's a pretty simplistic code because it's a pretty simplistic autonomous uh, drive base. So what they have here with this block based system is just you can see right here it says when started. And then what we do here is we start this repeat forever loop without any variables or conditions or anything along those lines. So what that repeat forever loop allows you to do is essentially makes the program continuously repeat as the name defines there, repeating forever. So the robot's going to continuously just drive around based on the conditions here in your forever loop. So since we see a single if statement, as long as nothing here is triggered, all it's going to do is drive forward. So forever, drive forward. That's what we have here. Now, if front I is near object, the way that these uh, statements are driven is just there's a front I, so it's a sensor uh, looking forward. So if it, it sees something in direction forward of the robot, then this portion of the code is triggered. So what you see here, just like we have in the previous video, is it drives in reverse for 200 millimeters. Now you can make a lot of different changes there. You can make it go forward if you want and just run into the wall. Or you can change your uh, number of value here as far as how far backwards it goes. You can also change it here to inches if you wish. However, the board is based on millimeter base. Each square is, is set in millimeter distances. And it can be um, quite beneficial to stick with that. A uh, note to make there is your millimeter option is, is smaller than your inch option. So when you're looking down for a little bit more defined pieces a little bit more accurate you're better off with the millimeter option and then what happens here once you drive to the reverse for 200 millimeters once you make it to that point then the robot turns to the right at 90 degrees and then since this condition is no longer accurate say the robot drove forward saw the wall backed up turned to the right 90 degrees now the front sensor does not see anything near Therefore, this if is no longer uh, in play here, and you're going to be driving forward con continuously until this if now runs. So let's just run this program just so you can see everything I'm talking about here. So I'm doing the top-down view. The robot's moving forward. What's going to happen is it's going to see that wall. Once it sees that wall, it jumps in the if statement, does that reverse, turns right 90 degrees, and continues on forward because the if is no longer valid. Now you're going to see it initiate here again jumps inside that if, turns to the right, and starts going forward. I think what we'll do as we move forward with this is kind of expand beyond uh, the simple backup, drive, forward, turn right kind of concept and um, play with it a little bit more so we can work with some of the sensors that are on board, make some different conditions, do a lot of different things so we get more than just a simple autonomous square driving system. Now one thing that's beneficial to look at here if you watch where it's at and, and where it falls, it's not always exact same position. Uh, it started it in this far bottom left hand corner, but I do believe it's going to back up and turn to the right here in the second one. Uh, because with this 200 millimeter mark, every time it backs up, turns right, it changes a little bit. So it's going to stop and turn right right here. So we started down here in the bottom left, far bottom left corner, but because of this reverse of 200 millimeter, when it comes in, it's always going to now get one block off of the corners here. So we're not going to be straight on the wall. All right, so that's it. That's, this is the basic code to make this autonomous system run. Hopefully you'll learn something, and we will work on moving on and getting a little bit more complex as time allows. Thanks for watching.